uh, we've been counting uh, over 200 each of the days that we've counted in just this one acre plot. I'm Mark Nelson. I'm USU Extension Agent here in Beaver County. We are out on the Milford Flat today around the corners of uh, some of the alfalfa fields. We're having a real problem with the Townsend ground squirrel. As you can see by some of the video that's been taken, uh, the squirrels are coming in and eating a lot of the alfalfa hay for these farmers and costing them thousands of dollars in lost profits from selling their crop. And also they're spelling, spending thousands of dollars trying to come up with some different ways to control these. I was able to get a grant to come in and do some research. There's a lot of gopher bait that are available that the farmers can use but because they go down the holes they will kill the pocket gophers but for the ground squirrels they feed up above and we have to try to find some baits that they will eat there's very few licenses here in the state of utah zinc phosphide is licensed but they don't like it once the alfalfa greens up we have a couple of pelleted baits that we've found that are being used in california and some of the other places and we're testing them here to see what will happen we put together an acre plot here and for the last three days, we've come and counted how many ground squirrels appear each day in these plots. Today, we're coming and we're filling in the holes, and then we'll come back tomorrow, and we will come in and uh, count those holes. And that's just one more method of counting how many squirrels there are. We're gonna go ahead and treat the area in these white bait stations that we've made out of PVC pipe. We're going to put the bait in there, leave them for a week, and then we'll come back and count the squirrels again, and we'll come back and uh, fill all the holes again and then count how many new ones and hopefully the numbers will go down and we'll find out which of these baits are most successful. This field is made up of two different farmers and uh, the one over here on my right uh, had a terrible squirrel infestation last year so he came in and plowed up his alfalfa field earlier than he usually would and he's going to plant corn this year because the squirrels don't like corn as much. And this costs him quite a bit of money because every time you have to go and run the equipment across the field, it costs some money. And it costs, they say that it costs the, uh, the price that you would get for your hay for two years just to come in and put in a new alfalfa crop. So that's one of the things if we can do these trials and figure out some ways to control these squirrels so they don't have to plow their field so often, it'll save them a lot of money. We're trying lots of different ways to uh, control ground squirrels, and there are many different methods, but uh, most of them aren't too easy and are quite expensive. Uh, we had a presenter come up from uh, California and talk about a study he'd done using this perk machine. It's a carbon monoxide machine, and they're quite expensive, but you can go and treat four different holes all at the same time. And the nice thing with these is you can go treat four holes at a different time, it costs about $10,000, but uh, they feel like they're getting pretty good control. And it's one of those things where it's not a dangerous gas like some of the zinc phosphide gases that we're using or the gas cartridges. And it does seem to be a pretty effective method of control. This is another one of the research plots that we're gonna do where we're gonna try another one of the uh, squirrel baits uh, that's a pelleted form and see if it works out better. One reason that this area has been infested so badly is because of the neighbor here. This is an area that's owned by a family out of California that don't do anything with it and uh, they just leave it and the squirrels run back and forth, back and forth. And the farmer here will always have a real problem with the squirrels because, because uh, they're digging their holes over there. If those guys would come in there and try to control their squirrels, it would really help the farmer over here. But we're, because this is infested so bad, it does make a nice research plot for us. So we're going ahead and covering the holes and then we'll come in tomorrow and see how many live holes we had. And then in two days, we'll come in and put the bait in these different bait stations. People always ask me, why do we have so many more squirrel problems now than we used to have? And there's several different reasons for that. One of those is that we don't flood irrigate anymore. Now we're very efficient. We use the center pivots. We only put on a little bit of water where this area 20 years ago used to all, or 30 years ago used to all be flood irrigated and it would kill a lot of them. The other thing is, is when the first farmers came in this area, they used to plant a lot of trees and a lot of windbreaks and now those trees are getting old and dying and the farmers aren't replanting them. So it makes it, uh, we have a lot of hawks and eagles that will come and help control the squirrels, but th there isn't places for them to perch, so we don't have as many of them. So we've come in and tried to set up a few artificial perches to see if that will help bring the birds and more of the natural controls in to help control the squirrel problem.